Scientists at the Welsh School of Pharmacy say the first human clinical trials on a new drug to treat infections caused by the hepatitis C virus have been successful. Researchers say the new medication could now become an approved treatment. 300,000 people suffer from hepatitis C in the UK. Across the world, 300 million people are affected. It's a virus that predominantly affects the cells of the liver. It can lead to cancer, cirrhosis and even death. Sean Lloyd reports. This is the lab where the groundbreaking work began. Four years after the project started, the team here at Cardiff University School of Pharmacy have reached a milestone in their research. The drug they're developing has already been tested on healthy volunteers, and scientists say they're delighted they haven't reported any side effects. Step one of the trials is now complete, and the crucial next step will begin in October. We're going to give patients one tablet a day for five or seven days, and these will be people with hepatitis C, and we'll be monitoring them to see are there any toxic side effects, is the drug tolerated, is one drug a day sufficient, and most important, do we kill the virus, do we knock the virus down? All of the preclinical studies we've done make us think it will be successful, but we've got to go through that phase next. Its working title is INX189. The drug won't be given a name until it's finally approved. It's been cleared for trials on patients in the United States, which is where the company sponsoring the research is based. This project is a partnership between the Welsh School of Pharmacy and the drugs company Inhibitex. So far, it's cost £700,000 to fund the work in Cardiff, and millions are being invested in the US. But it takes an average of 17 years for a new drug to make it onto the market. The work here is still classed as in the early stages, but at the rate it's progressing, further developments are expected much earlier than that.